into the shiny variant. What's going on everyone? Jan Hella here and we are still on the hunt for Charizard. And what better way to hunt for those Pokemon cards than this random ass blister. I've never seen this before. This is my first time seeing it. Uh, I've never seen anybody post this yet on Verbank. And here we are. This is all I could find. After hitting up maybe five different targets today and seeing absolutely nothing, uh, this was the only thing that was out there. So I bought a few of these. Well, more than a few. Yeah, I bought a few. So we're gonna open these up and hopefully get something good. Um, I don't know. It's a it's a it's a weird market right now. You know, Pokemon is at an all time high. Things are selling out. Things are sold out. And if this is how it's gonna be to get Pokemon from here on out, that might be the play. Unfortunately, um, considering that. Locally, Darkness of Blaze is running about 550 per pack. And Champion's Path, we know, is one of those highly sought after sets. So roughly six to eight dollars, ten dollars on the high on the high end for the pack. So I figured these are $9.99. And when you look at the aftermarket price for per pack, it's actually not bad considering. I can't find anything else. We're gonna open this pack up and hopefully get something decent and hopefully not get anything resealed. So <laughs> I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna open a couple of these first. And then if it looks as if things have been tampered with, eh, I'll return them. But let's take a look at the packaging. First and foremost, as it states, we're getting two packs plus 40 sleeves. And in my experience, these sleeves suck they're not anything special they're not dragon shields or anything like that my go-to sleeves are kind of the the mainstays so whatever sleeves these are kind of suck we get one champion's path and one darkness ablaze pack this set is brought to you by the fairfield company we're all very familiar with fairfield they repackage things have been doing it for years it doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting something that's been tampered with but you are getting something that is resealed and they even disclose it this product is packaged and purchased directly from the manufacturer or purchased from secondary market and repackaged for retail sales by the fairfield company so in my experience in the past i have pulled full arts as well as Roaring Skies Shaman from such blisters. Your miles may vary, that's kind of a given, but I am confident that these are not tampered with. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hopefully pull something good because my luck has been egregiously bad. And if these packs are actually tampered with, yeah, one set of blue and one set of red sleeves, kind of indicative of the original video game series. We have Champion's Path and Darkness Ablaze. Just like the other ones, they felt they feel a little a little loose inside. There's nothing that is indicative of these cards being resealed, at least in my opinion. And in my experience. So one, two, three. Starting off with the Darkness of Blaze, and hopefully we get something decent because, like I said, as you've seen, my luck is terrible. So, starting off with a Dartrix Reverse Hollow in the rare Champion's Path. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, it's not tampered with. As far as far as I know, they're not. One, two, three. Getting rid of the Water Energy. Team Yell Grunt. Hop. Hatchram, Rockruff, Purloin, Galarian, Linone, Sizzlipede, Great Ball, we're never gonna have that. Reverse Hollows of Great Ball on the rare. I'm Marnie. How's everyone else's luck doing? Mine is terrible. Hopefully everyone else is benefiting from these pulls. As for myself, they suck. This one felt super sketchy. This one felt super loose. But as I've said, past experience with these packs, um, I've had luck opening them, so. I do not believe them to be resealed. All right, Tape, Cape of Toughness, Powerful Energy. Oh, that's new, what, what do you do? The attacks of the colorless Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more damage. Oh, neat. I don't know if it's really worth having just one, you know, colorless energy, but hey, at least it's a damage, damage booster. Reverse Hollow is a Dunsparce. The rare, Volcarona, non-hollow, and let's make sure that in line. I don't know, can you even weigh these anymore? I'm sure there's people who can weigh it on the decigram. I 
don't know. That opened weird. I don't know. Like I said, personal experience, that was a weird one. Every other Champions Path we've opened, this was always facing this way. And that was a little uh, unnerving. That was a little unnerving, considering how easy that pack opened up. But we'll, <laughs> we'll find out the hard way, I guess. All right, we got Piers, Bead, Lipard, Carvana, Scraggy. The bane of my... Ex you know what, Focus? You could focus right here. I might need to switch to uh, manual focus. God. Swablu. Had, had, whatever your name is. Galarian, Lanoon, and Reverse Hollows of Bead. Reverse Hollows of Bead. And the rare... So far... So suck. So far... So suck. We'll do one more to play it safe. And we may need to break this video up because... I'm not feeling very confident. I'm not feeling very confident at all. I think that this has been more so indicative of my luck over anything else, as opposed to getting resealed product. Um, yeah, I'm just not feeling very confident in uh, the outcome right now. Let's switch to manual focus, because this is this thing bouncing around is pissing me off. Let's switch it up. Let's go to Champion's Path. Let's see. How screwed we are. <laughs> I did get... <laughs> Weird, right? I mean, that's just... That's not normal with uh, Champion's Path, and so... I'm not a fan. Okay, that's de that definitely uh, gives me a little bit of worry. I'm not exactly sure if I want to feel that level of worry, but, I mean... I guess we got to risk it for the biscuit, you know? Um... You're not going to know until you try, I guess. That's the uh, best way to look at it. But when it comes to money, right now, I don't exactly want to waste it. So, Reverse Hollows of Machoke in the Rare is a Center Scorch. Whoa. We'll see if I want to continue because this is making my bones hurt. Definitely not getting my needs satiated with all these pulls as of late. Okay, that's a cool sign, I guess, right? I mean... White code cards from anything is always a good thing, so. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> Please give me some luck, come on. I need something. I need something to make me confident to open the rest. This is not exactly doing it for me, and Reverse Hollow is a Vanillish. The rare, oh, we got a card. It was exciting at first, because it's a full art, but it's a stun miss. Almost there, right? I mean, but like I said, getting full arts and getting good cards from this type of blister isn't necessarily not feasible, not plausible, I guess. Um, getting stuff that you want is a whole other story. But at least we got a full art. So that, in my mind, shows that these are not resealed. That's a decent sign. I just... Uh, I just don't know if I want to continue opening these packs because I don't want Stunfisk. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. We'll do it because the only way to get people feeling comfortable enough to buy a product like this, especially if they do see it, is to show that there is no, there is the same level of risk and reward if you buy it, whether it be in a blister, because these are not resealed. And I'm not sponsored by any means. I really wish I was, but nobody is sending me any product. The Pokemon company doesn't know I exist. Neither does the Fearfield company. So, for a second, because the color palettes on both these packs are so similar, I almost thought I got two Darkness of Blaze packs versus the Champion's Path. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, the monkey, the monkey brain is kicking in. I just want to open things now. I'm in the zone. I am grooving. Okay, look, back to back to normal. Weird, 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 weird. Yeah, the monkey brain is kicking in. I just want to start opening packs and just keep grinding out, especially with this little bit of hiatus of opening packs. Um, it's been a little draining, uh, getting nothing from any of these cards, any of these packs as of late. So taking a little break from Pokemon has been, you know, a little nice, a little stressful. Reverse Hollow is a Hatterene in the rare. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Gardevoir V. So I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident that this is just, you know, the Fairfield, the Fairfield Company doing what they do. Get random packs and then put them up. Put them up in a blister. So far, so good, guys. All right, here we go. Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze. 550 a pack. As I mentioned in... Oh, hey, there we go. These packs near me are hitting 550 and I did buy a few because that's what was, you know, allotted to me locally. And I figured let's, you know, hopefully get something in reverse hollows of grammar. But 550 for a booster pack is needless to say, what? Hard to stomach. The rare. Ooh. Galarian Slowbro V. There we go. Not bad. Not the best, but you know, we're on track of getting decent cards and I mean, hey, we're already here. Let's go for it. Monkey brain kick in. Open thing. Rip. Rip. Open. That's weird because this one has two sets of red sleeves. Usually spin red and blue. Maybe this is the outlier set. Maybe the red will be indicative of a, of a Charizard. Wouldn't that be neat? Wouldn't that be neat? Two, three. Oh. If we're not getting a charge on this pack, Jesus Christ. Oh, that'd be so cool. With my luck, that's not going to happen. All right. Let's kick off with a familiar bell. <laughs> Struggle gloves? What kind of, What do you do? It's a hilarious name. If the Pokemon this card attached to you has a weakness to your opponent's active Pokemon's type, it's attached to 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Huh. Neat. I guess if you're trying to counter the meta, having something like that probably isn't the worst. But that just sounds... That's, a, that's just such a stupid name. Dunsparce, Electric, Glaring Mr. Mime. Reverse Hollow is a Paris that is out of focus in the rare. Serena. Well, that's not neat. I'm not a fan of that. You're supposed to be Charizard, not weak to it. Yeah, green card card. Okay. Galarian Obstagoon on the foil. Opening being very gimp handed. Codes being in the correct order. One, two, three. Psychic Energy. What's even in this set? That's psychic. That's worth getting. I don't know. Pierce, Malamar, Kakuna, Pokeball, Machop, Hatter, somebody, Full Heal, Reverse Hollow of Sonya, and the rare is another Obstagoon. I don't think I'm going to be done purchasing any Champion's Path as long as it's allotted to me. As long as I can come across it, I will absolutely buy Champion's Path. Not just because I'm trying to get something good. Um, because clearly I have not pulled anything good from them at all, as far as I can tell. But, because it's a beautiful set, to be honest. It's a beautiful set. All these random in-between sets for Pokemon cards are absolutely beautiful. So, I have no problem hunting it down. But am I willing to pay the aftermarket price? Hopefully not, man. I just hopefully don't have to. You know, I think... It's one of those things where finding our level of comfort with paying for Pokemon, um, paying twice over retail sucks. Some people are willing to do it, myself, not so much. And Reverse Hollow is an Aeron, and the rare is a Blaziken. How funny would it be if these weren't even the same set? Um, I'm not willing to pay double retail. Uh, some people are, myself, no. And if I can get everything at retail, that would be absolutely choice. If not, I don't know. We'll see how the uh, we'll see how the hunt continues. You know, it will continue. That's for sure. But shiny fates. Oh man! <sighs> if it was already this hard, if it was already this hard to get champions path, at least for me, since I'm starting a little late, I can only imagine how hard shiny fates is going to be for myself. Funny enough, hidden fates was easy. Shiny legends was easy. Champions path, meh. More or less was, you know, relatively somewhat attainable. And the reverse hollow is an Arbok and the rare. <gasps> oh, sh Expletive here. Oh, ho, ho. we got a hyper rare Kabu. And I spit all over my LCD screen. Holy shit. Like I said, getting hyper rares in these blisters. And f I can't even get the card through the... Oh, man. What do you do? I have no clue. Let's find out. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If your active Pokemon is your only Pokemon to play, draw eight cards. Can you use on your first turn? 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm pre feeling pretty confident in these uh, in these blisters. So all I know is with Pokemon being as hard to come by right now in my area, especially, I'm probably going to buy these whenever I find them, to be honest. Um, Especially considering the price points, five fifty locally and roughly, you know, six to ten dollars on this guy, depending where you source it from. So, uh, man, I don't know. I guess this is the cheapest route you can go right now with Pokemon is going through going through the Fairfield Company, and that's so weird. <laughs> that's so weird because historically everyone has issues with the Fairfield Company. Right now, I'm not feeling a. Uh... Hey, don't show anything. I'm not feeling too bad, to be honest. Even so, I think this is worth it if you can come across it just for the Champion's Path because essentially you're getting some bulk. You're gonna get some bulk to, you know, sell and just kind of make up some of the, some of the money you spent. So, granted, it's not, you know, a whole lot of bulk, all things considered, well, maybe, but considering that bulk prices are going up, I think the bulk prices are going back up, which is good because, you know, the thousand thousand cards for 10 bucks, that's definitely uh, not something we want. And with bulk coming up and getting something like this, and if you are one of those people who sells bulk, this is probably not the worst, uh, worst route to go. We don't need you. We got that guy over there. So forget you. That was weird. Three trainers in a row. That's kind of funny. Nigget, Purloin, Rockruff, Vulpix, Zigzagoon. Rotom Bike is a reverse hollow in the rare. Oh, wait. Reverse hollow is a rare in the. Wait, the reverse hollow is a rare. English! With bulk going up, this is probably not the worst the worst route to go. So, if you see these, I would absolutely say purchase with confidence because, you know, I mean, granted, I don't know if any of those cards <laughs> right there are worth anything. Um, but for the sheer fact of we're getting these two packs. For 10 bucks, that's not that's not too bad. Beggars can't be choosers, so. And if you've seen any fluctuation in the lighting, blame <laughs> blame me for not noticing that my uh, ND filter's on there. Yeah, that was a little dumb. Carnivine, Big Parasol, Pierce, Panseer, Morlul, Wishy Washy, Qfant, Dino, Reverse Hollow, is a Wigglytuff, and the rares. Pretty cool looking Agron. Let me know when you guys got into Pokemon cards in terms of, you know, this this level of uh, obsession, I guess. I got into it during XY, one of my buddies, uh, I remember him, you know, buying Pokemon cards when we went to Target and I thought it was the weirdest thing because I didn't know Pokemon cards were still around. And then he started showing me the secret rares and the shiny Gyarados for Breakpoint and that was kind of the first secret rare I started to hunt down and been in it ever since, Turfield. Potion, Rock Rough, Weedle, Swablu, Kakuna. Oh, cool. Reverse Hollow, Metal Energy, the Rare. <gasps> oh. Dredna. We had the full set. They don't matter to me. We have the full set, I think. V. Such a weird name. Pokemon, get rid of V, please. <laughs> get rid of V. All right, we got two more of these left, and I am kind of disappointed. I want more. <sighs> This one feels thick. This one feels meaty. This one feels tampered. <laughs> this one feels like somebody won in. And maybe, hey, maybe that's the case, right? Maybe this set was the set that they, you know, tampered with. And the Champion's Path is the one that's going to draw you in. E either way, it's, in my opinion, still worth it. So, Dark Tricks, Staravia, Shinodic, Chubchu. Do you remember when Shaman was like 40 to 80 bucks and now it's worth like 10? R.I.P. R.I.P. I think the most I spent was 40 bucks on a full art Shaman. And it was lightly played, I think. Reverse Hollow is Rose Tower and the rare is stuck and it's a muck. Yeah. I remember when Shaman was super expensive. I remember going to Worlds thinking I should probably sell it. And that was Worlds in San Francisco. Never sold one. And I still have all my Shaman, including the... Uh, the secret rare that came in the promo box. Kind of still wish I bought, I kind of wish I bought a bunch of those boxes. I was very much so tempted to Amazon or no, well, Amazon. Barnes and Noble had a bunch for sale online and I never bought any more than the ones I want, than the ones I initially got. So I definitely wish I did buy more, but yeah. Hindsight 2020, those would have been a pretty decent investment at this point in time. Team Yelgrunt and the rare. Machamp. But how am I supposed to know? You know, how am I supposed to know that uh, 
these cards that I was buying to literally play with were going to be worth jack <laughs> jack shit because Guzma, I bought a full playset and they are worth nothing now. Last pack. Clearly pulled a whole lot of nothing from Darkness of Blaze. Decent stuff from Champion's Path. So I guess, you know, if you're looking at these, this is just cheap Champion's Path. In fact, I think it's the best way to justify getting these uh, these packs right now, or this, this blister. Look at it as if you're getting cheap Champion's Path, if that's exactly what you're hunting for. If not, then, you know, have fun. Buy with confidence, I would say. And if you guys do pull a Charizard through this Darkness Ablaze pack from the set, hey, congratulations. I am far from it. Familiar Bell. Struggle Gloves, a hilarious card. Clang, Paris, Larvitar, Golit, Feebas, Purloin, Reverse Hall is a Decidueye, and the rare, a Terrible Talon Flame. Deep Forest Camo. So I guess we're getting the, we're getting that one in Shiny Fates as well, right? As a Shiny? That'd be kind of cool. Last pack. Last pack. Champion's Path. Hopefully something decent, as I keep saying. Turfield Stadium, Beedrill, Great Ball, Weedle, Zigzagoon, Rockruff, Full Heal, I'm Hungry, Machop is a reverse hollow in the rare. Stupid Obstagoon. <sighs> Scrafty and Obstagoon, those are the ones who love me in this set. No regrets buying it, no regrets opening it. I had fun, hopefully you guys did too. And hopefully you guys get something good from these code cards. Before we wrap up, we're going to open up one Vivid Voltage pack. It is probably from the last time I saw Vivid Voltage on the shelves, which was maybe a month ago. So, opening our last pack with a Celebi. Hopefully getting the big fat Pikachu. That would be... Uh, that would make up for all this other crap I pulled today. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Good to know we got a white code card. Spoiler alert. Hopefully you guys get something good in that white code card for yourselves. And that should be indicative of a Pikachu... If not, sucks. All right, Alistair, Cramorant, Nessa, Beldum, Blitzel. Have you pulled your own Pikachu? Comment below. Milkery, Skiddo, Eevee. Reverse Hollow is a Dawn fan. <sighs> ah, Zorora. Zeraora? Zeroroa? Zororua? What are you? Meh. Oh well, we got this guy. So, there you guys have it. We opened up 10 Fairfield packaged Champion's Path slash Darkness of Blaze blisters. And it is two packs for $9.99 at your local Target or wherever it may be. All things considered, for the price that I would pay locally for a Champion's Path ETB because our local card shops are scalping the fuck out of them, this is, I don't know, maybe worth it. At least for me, it was, I had the fun. I opened the packs, I had a good time. Um, hopefully, if I see more of these, I'll pick them up and get better pulls. But like I said, buy these with confidence that you guys may pull something good. If these are worth anything, we'll find out. If not, oh well, I had fun. If you guys do see these blisters, feel, feel confident enough to buy them. Even if you just buy one, I mean, I still think it's worth it. You're getting a Champion's Path pack for 10 bucks, Plus some sleeves and additional bulk if you want to look at it that way. So all things considered, it's not a bad purchase. And if you're someone like me who lives in an area that's highly populated with scalpers and this is all you can find, I think it's absolutely worth it. So there you have it. Like the video. Hopefully you guys get better pulls on these because for me, even if these aren't good cards, they're... Better pulls than I've pulled in the last, like, how many, how many videos? Jesus Christ. Five? I don't know. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys found these blisters yourselves at your local stores. If so, what was your luck? Like the video. Share it with some friends. Subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, pump hard.